are the roots of x minus a into x minus b equal to c where c is not zero then the roots of x minus alpha into x minus beta plus c equal to zero are a comma c b comma c a comma b a plus c comma b plus c given alpha and beta are the roots of x minus a into x minus b minus c equal to zero therefore by factor theorem its factors are x minus alpha and x minus beta that is x minus a into x minus b minus c is equal to x minus alpha into x minus beta or in other words x minus a into x minus b is equal to x minus alpha into x minus beta plus c thus the quadratic equation x minus alpha into x minus beta plus c equal to zero can be replaced by x minus a into x minus b equal to zero which gives the roots as x equal to a and x equal to b hence the roots are a and b option c is correct if alpha and beta alpha less than beta are the roots of the equation x square plus bx plus c equal to zero where c is less than zero less than b then the options are zero is less than alpha less than beta or alpha is less than zero less than beta less than modulus of a or alpha is less than beta less than zero or alpha is less than zero less than modulus of alpha less than beta since c is negative that means product of the roots is negative therefore the roots are of opposite signs one of them is a negative root the other is a positive root hence sum of the roots is also minus b but b is positive therefore minus b becomes negative also alpha is less than beta and alpha is less than zero therefore beta is greater than zero but sum is negative that means modulus of alpha is greater than beta that shows beta is less than modulus of alpha hence alpha is negative that is alpha is less than zero beta is positive and beta is less than modulus of alpha hence the option alpha is less than zero is less than beta is less than modulus of alpha is correct which is option b if a is less than b then the equation x minus a into x minus b minus one equal to zero has both roots in a b both roots in b and infinity one root is in minus infinity a and the other root is in b infinity now let fx equal to x minus a into x minus b minus 1 equal to 0 we observe that the quadratic equation becomes x square minus a plus b x plus a b minus 1 equal to 0 here coefficient of x square is equal to 1 which is positive therefore the graph of the curve is has a convexity which is downwards the graph is negative between its roots also f a is equal to minus 1 which is below 0 that is negative f b is minus 1 which is also below 0 which is negative since the graph is negative between its roots that means between a and b lie between its roots that is a and b are between the roots that it has thus a and b lie between the roots and it takes negative values at a and b hence one root lies between minus infinity and a the other root lies between b and infinity